Happy holidays, everybody, and welcome to the Osteopathic Center podcast once again. Today, we are going, or I'm going to be going over um, how we can help our metabolic health. Being in the holidays, we tend to overindulge ourselves, and that causes a lot of metabolic stress as well as oxidative stress. So we need ways that we can overcome this. Um, here at the Osteopathic Center, um, I've, I've made a point to be very aggressive with intravenous therapies uh, because many people can do supplementation. You can read about it online on, on your own. You can go to a naturopath, you can go to an acupuncturist, you can go to a nutritionist, you can go to your doctor. There's many different ways in order to look up supplementations and how you can help that. But not many people know about intravenous therapies and how we can actually affect and make your metabolic health even better. So we're going to talk about a few of the treatments we do here and how that does actually work. So first is, um, you know, it's a little difficult to see on the video, but you can see it's a little colored bag here. Um, and this, this is what we call it just basic vitamins. We have different vitamins such as vitamin C, magnesium, B complex, which includes B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, B12, um, as well as taurine, arginine, zinc, biotin. So this conglomeration of nutrients, for one, going through intravenous route, bypasses the gut. Uh, not many people know, but when you take a supplement or eat food, um, you only absorb roughly 30, 30 to 40% of what you uh, take in. And if you go liposomal, you get the uh, 60 to 70% in, and, and the sublinguals can absorb uh, that much as well. But when we go IV, we get 100% of what we're doing. Um, the only downside to that would be we can't put everything in there, so it's always good to be doing things at home with um, good multivitamins, eating good food, staying away from chemicals such as pesticides or GMOs and other things. So the vitamins do a couple things. For one, they're very effective at helping your adrenal glands. They're also very effective at helping your immune system, and that's what we're going to go into immune system in just a little bit. But um, all this is just gearing your body to, to help replenish what your body's being depleted of as we go through stress, especially in these times at the end of 2020, um, as well as if we go through oxidative stress through whether it be genetics or whether it be through bad food or chemicals we're exposed to, whether it be at work. Unfortunately, chemicals we're exposed to in our food as well. So vitamins is one thing we do here. Um, now, we can do very basic stuff like a lot of people do, Myers Cocktail. Um, now, uh, the, the one thing that is a little different in, at a lot of clinics is some people uh, will come in and be like, well, why is yours in such a small bag? I went to the clinic down the street, it's in a big bag. Well, being in a big bag doesn't mean it's better. It actually dilutes it. And the truth is you want a higher concentration of vitamins, and a higher concentration is done in a smaller bag. Um, so the number and amount of a vitamin, let's say one gram of vitamin C, is actually more effective in a small bag of fluids than it is in a, a big bag of fluids. Um, and, and it's just, it takes training to know because some people can have uh, a feeling when they do the more concentrated version versus, um, versus the less concentrated version. And you just have to know as a doctor and practitioner what's a side effect versus what's a reaction. So um, that's one thing, vitamins. The next has to do with these two machines right here. Now, these machines are very unique uh, because they're using your own blood. Now, this big machine is called an Ozone 2000 Zotzman machine from Germany. This is called Major Autohemotherapy, or also known as Multi-Ozone Therapy. And the way it works is we have this bottle right here and we have two different tubings. One tubing connects the bottle to the machine. The second tubing connects the bottle to the patient. Now this does require a bit of training and expertise in order to do properly because we're creating a pressure vacuum to bring your blood into this bottle. And when we do that, then we uh, push the ozone into this bottle, mix it thoroughly, and have it go back into your body through a pressurized system. And this is extremely effective for energy, chronic fatigue, chronic disease, chronic infectious disease. Now, once again, going slightly into the immune system, which we'll talk about later, it's excellent for immune system. The uh, secondary um, one that we do is ultraviolet. This is the uh, sterilized disposable that we use for the uh, blood. And it goes into this machine, which has four different ultraviolet lights in it, which are UV, 
A, B, and U, B, C. And as the blood passes through this glass cuvette, the lights can kill whatever's in there. It can extremely enhance your immune system. So it also decreases inflammation as well. I, I have a lot of a lot of athletes that use this machine, and they do very well from a recovery standpoint, as well as when they go um, to work out and and, uh, and do weights, and they 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 do actually heavier weights and and, uh, and more longevity during their workouts. So obviously, if we we put all these things together, you're going to get the best result, and that kind of gets us into um, you know what what we can do for the immune system, especially during uh, periods like the flu season and other things going on. So getting vitamins in your body just to help your body replenish and also with the immune system is very important. Um, doing the ozone is going to help kill whatever's exposed ozone in your blood is going to die and whatever the ultraviolet light um, exposes on the blood is going to die. So when it goes back in, we have things called epitopes that the immune system can actually identify better and when it identifies it better, then it can build more antibodies and it can fight against these infectious diseases. And that's why and how these things work so effectively. But, you know, also when, going back to what I first talked about, oxidative stress. So what we have to be able to do is fight things from the mitochondria. So the mitochondria are your engines of your cell and the engines of your body. If our mitochondria do not work well, then you're, you won't work well. It doesn't matter what you have going on. So we have to stimulate your mitochondria, heal your mitochondria to make sure that they can heal your body. And so it goes into, if anybody's been in college or even back in high school, if you remember the Krebs cycle, that's what we're talking about. So heavy metals, toxins disrupt the Krebs cycle and the uh, mitochondria. NAD, another supplement we can do, also affects the mitochondria. Ozone oxygenates and can help the mitochondria. Um, the ultraviolet doesn't work on the mitochondria, but works on the immune system. The immune system gets enhanced, so it can heal tissue. And then we have other types of things, like glutathione is the most popular supplement we have in order for the mitochondria to be effective, and the most well-known that most people do at most clinics like, uh, like this. And so there's other things we can do, and those, that gets into specialized con consultations and talking about if it's the right thing for you. but. These are the things when we go through periods where holidays, everybody kind of overindulges, they let themselves go a little bit. This works on your cellular met metabolism in order to facilitate um, getting uh, oxidative stress out of your body, getting free radicals out of your body, and helping to rebuild you from the inside out, particularly the mitochondria. So I hope this helps today. Just remember, oxidative stress, immune system, these are the things that are the most aggressive and very helpful to help any of those conditions. Thank you.